Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, my name's Karen. You're at the loft and that makes you wicked smart. So today's video is a little bit different and it's not going to be for everyone. But if you are a painter or a DIYer like me, someone who crafts and does a lot of the reverse canvas treatments to make your signs, then stick around because I have a genius hack for fixing damaged canvases. So I discovered this uh, fix a few years back, long before I had my YouTube channel, and I have been wanting to share it ever since because it is absolutely brilliant and it has worked for me every single time. And I actually thought this might be the time that it wasn't going to work because this uh, reverse canvas that I did when I took it out of storage, it was damaged pretty badly. And I'm gonna show you how I fixed that live and in person in a minute. But this is how this is the canvas that was brought to me uh, a few years back from a friend who got it for free, I think at a yard sale, somebody was just giving it away. It was very stretched out. The canvas was not tight at all and this is a pretty good size one it's it's three feet wide by four feet tall and you can see that i i got it fixed and i ended up just painting it with some black chalk paint drawing on this little twiggy tree and adding the little boxes to make this huge jumbo advent calendar so back in the day when I used to do craft fairs and I would bounce around from season to season with my signs, I used to make them all out of wood, which meant I would go out, get the plywood. I would need help trying to get it cut to size. I'd buy the trim. I'd build the frames myself, which I could do easily on my own, glue it all together. And I, back then I also did all of my own typography by hand. So once I learned how to do the reverse canvas treatment to make a sign, my whole world changed. I didn't have to go out and buy the trim to make my own frames for each piece. When you peel that canvas off, it reveals the frame. They come in many different sizes to choose from, so now I didn't have to cut plywood. Here's a couple of the smaller ones that I first did when I first learned how to do this. And some of my favorite ones that I've done were actually for Christmas. So I'm going to bring you a whole video on how to do this whole treatment from beginning to end and how I get the back finished nice and smooth and tight without having to staple the whole back. Okay, enough of that, you guys. Let's get right into this fix. As long as your canvas is not ripped or torn, but it has deep divots or dimples or is sagging, I promise you, you can get it fixed. Here we go. Tonight, because I just got this reverse canvas out of storage, and as you can see, it's got a pretty good size dimple in it. And I'm thinking I might be able to save it, and I'm going to show you a trick on how to uh, fix this problem. Um, I come across unused canvases a lot at yard sales and stuff like that and sometimes the canvas is stretched out or it's dimpled a little bit but there's a trick there is a trick to saving that and hopefully it's going to work this is a pretty good size one there's a couple of little ones down here too that i'm hoping that i can get out so all you have to do Turn it around and just spray it with some water. But make sure you're spraying the back, not the front. And it takes some time, and I might have to keep doing it over and over again. But all you need to do is just start rubbing it in a circular motion. And I'm not really sure. Not really sure what it is that is. The magic. I don't know if it's the heat of your hand 
kind of working quickly and drying in the canvas. I really should be working on one section at a time. But this one right here is coming right out. I am giving it a little bit of pressure. All right, let's go back to the big one. And I'm just going to keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until the canvas is dry. And obviously you'll know that by touching it. <laughs> I do believe it's working. Can see it getting smaller, hopefully. I'm hoping I can save it because the paint on the front is not cracked. I'm going to get a little workout. Down here have come out. And once down here are gone. There's a little one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, no, you can't. I just found a little one in the corner down here. out. <laughs> Should have given it the little drum test. I have found some that have been pretty saggy and stretched. And when you go to tell the before and the after, this one's getting pretty tight. So I'm just going to keep working this, but it's coming. I think it's going to work. See the difference? See how it's just almost disappearing? And I can feel it. I can feel the canvas tightening up. Yeah, this is your sign. Don't pass on those stretched out canvases that you might find at state sales, yard sales, or thrift shops. Obviously, you don't want them if they've been torn or they've been ripped. But if they just have some dimpling, I mean, look at that, you guys. It's almost gone. I mean, you saw how how bad that was. That was a pretty deep divot in this canvas. Yep, I think, I think we got it. You guys, it's gone, and I'm so excited because my girl Sarah, who cut this for me, just closed her shop, and I would not have been able to get another one. I would have tried like heck to get it off though if I had to do this over because I absolutely love this. Was one of my very first um, Cricut projects when I first got my my Cricut. I wanted to see how how little I could get the font, and this is very very fine. Typography. I was very impressed that it cut it that well. So yeah, so that's your trick. Don't pass on those stretched out canvases, you guys. Now you know how to fix them.
seriously you guys can you even tell there was even a huge dimple in that canvas look how nice and smooth that came out I really didn't think this one was gonna work but I'm so glad that it did and I'm so glad that you were here to see it I hope this is valuable to you and I hope that you may need it or if you don't need it maybe you don't work with canvases but maybe you have a friend who does and you think that this might be a good tip for them so as always you guys thank you so much for watching and spreading the love for me i really appreciate that and i can't wait to see you in the next one <laughs>